National Football League. And our focus goes to Jalen Johnson. He's been one of the NFL's best ball hawks this season with nine interceptions. It's the Saints and the Bengals, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. It's the NFL on Allen Sports as we welcome you into Pancor Stadium on the riverfront here in Cincinnati. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between our visitors and the Cincinnati Bengals. Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. And CD, you look at the Saints in this matchup, they've got to be thinking, hey, we've got a good chance to be successful here running the football. No doubt about that because that has to be their mindset. It should be their mindset. This is one of the better rushing offenses in the league, and they're squaring off against a team that's not at all strong on the other side of the ball. So this could be one where we see this offense try to impose their will through the trenches, and in fact, they should. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Here come the Bengals, and CD, of course, it's Joe Burrow out of LSU at quarterback. Partner, you know how guys always tell us it's not about the numbers, it's about the win. It's about the numbers, too. Almost 400 yards passing by him last week. What can he do in this one? <laughs> well, earned him AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Maybe he'll try to get 400-plus here and duplicate that honor again. On one, ready? They'll start on the ground here on first down. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Now it's Burrow. And able to find Alan Lazard. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. 11 Thomas. Play action. It's Burrow. And Lazard's got it again. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got 11, some space. 11, 11, 11. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Burrow. He's got the hook up to Lazard, and he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive, and I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him, and I don't think you can have one base of coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. And despite injuries like these, Charles, with these guys missing, they've been able to keep that pursuit of perfection alive so far. That just shows the depth that they have on the roster and the guys who are serious about being ready when their number is called. Someone goes down, someone jumps in, and they don't skip or beat. I think this team has a bunch of those guys, go, and some go. of them will be called out again this week. Again, it's Burrow. 
And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Nick Bosa make that now eight sacks for him on the season. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 29 feet. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he can next on the field goal. Luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about it. This should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off, but the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know the funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really put the win to make it work for this team. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. And what about the Texans folks leading that game to this point? And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. They go play action with Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. Now they work this well upfield across the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From midfield now, Burrow. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, Burrow. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is a guy who runs with such balance and control. I mean, he went through that early contact just like he was driving over a speedboat. He's able to continue his way downfield and wind up in the end zone. And the next-gen stat, CD, it shows us he cut better than 20 yards after the initial contact was made. So, apparently, 10 nothing lead for him now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. 
And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams. On defense, they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The Saints at 6-0. What a start to the season for them. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Well, this defense for the Bengals, they were very strong in the win last week over the Giants. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course, but I'd have to say a very solid performance. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked. The 13-yard line, pretty good spot. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here we go. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Burrow throw to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, throwing in and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Houston. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The 
Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. On second down now, Wilkinson. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams are just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for them. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I spotted man coverage on the outside. I expect we'll see a lot of that from this defense as this game moves on. And that was a good job there because that one was knocked away. This will be caught inside the 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a handoff up the middle. Wilkinson at a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Wilkinson. And now a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The Saints with a football here to begin quarter number two, as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. He'll look to throw. Touchdown! Marquez Valdez Scambling, his first touchdown on the year. Saints have got it back to a little score. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season... of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, here we go, here we go. more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go. Burrow looking to pass. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he will go out of bounds down at the 15-yard line. A big play there for Cincinnati. 49 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He
guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Oh, they'll try a jet sweep here with Higgins. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. 11 mighty. Hands it off out of the gun, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run it, try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Touchdown, Bengals! T. Higgins with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year, as his guys are able to extend their lead. McPherson on for the point after. It's good to make it 17-7. That time, 75 yard drive, five plays. And it was T. Higgins who capped the drive with the touchdown reception. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer Muth. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And one thing about a play like this, if it's slow to develop, it can turn out poorly. And this play was definitely slow in developing, and that was one heck of an effort to sprint over there and get the man down before he can make anything happen. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 25 yards that time. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. Lutz to try to end the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. 
So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. T. Higgins out on offense with the rest of his teammates for this next drive. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him, maybe even have a third person in the area, and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while, because I don't know that their talents are his, because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. And not much foul. happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now, this looks like a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. One, ready? Second down at four. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there, gonna take this to about the 10 yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. They'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now it's Burrow. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front. The front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. McPherson's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20-14 now. So they're able to get that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. Every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. A little bit of flip the script. Quarter one, they struggled. Quarter two here, they put things together. And I guess sometimes, Charles, you just come out and you have to get your feet underneath you in a ball game, right? That's exactly right, because Every now and then, you don't come out of the gate as fast or as strong as you want to. Sometimes you have to ramp up into it or take a few hits along the way and figure it out. And that's what they've done so far. Slow start, but now they're starting to put it together. From the gun, he'll hand this off. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 40. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now, they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner and turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. Here's a second and seven. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 
And they'll work this down inside the 30. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they Down, executed it to perfection. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now they'll run on the ball. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second and 11. This is caught. Touchdown, Saints. Marquez Valdez-Scantling with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints are an extra point away now from moving out in front. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that as so they continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass. Exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to here see go, what go. they can do here. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a ready. momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Stop. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Point, right? The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Saints are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defensive perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone from there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. 
And when push came to shove, they stood their ground. Now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. No reason to do anything. Snap it one more time on first down. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Jacoby Brissett, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns in the victory. From there, we'll head up to Indy to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. The Colts trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Devontae Parker, a touchdown reception. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Saints. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime, but the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. Yeah, Coach, certainly no shortage of action in those first two quarters. Definitely got to work on my touchdown calls, so we'll see how much voice I have left for the second half here. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll set up a throw. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On second down, they'll run it here. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Looking to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. 
This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. They'll look to throw again. Now they go screen. It's complete. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And when you see a screen pass as a defender, you see the ball floating in the air like that, you have to think to yourself, that could buy a little extra time if I bust my tail to get over there. If I avoid those blockers, I can go make the play behind the line of scrimmage as he just did there. And the next-gen stats, they tell the story as he was approaching 19 miles an hour on that one. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, here we go, here we go. not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. He'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now it's Burrow. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long, with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. And he goes out of bounds and looks like right at the 50. There will be 37 yards there on the punt. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Here's a give up the middle. DJ Reader there on the tackle. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball here before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 55 rushing yards, rushing on 12 carries for him now. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The end result, 21 yards. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. 
Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Touchdown! And Fryer Mute from six yards away. And the Saints go up by two touchdowns. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even a two touchdown lead right because you've taken that time off as you noted which means they couldn't get you off the field you ran your playbook the way you wanted to and you gave your defense some rest what a big time drive in that situation and they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Inside four minutes to go. Third quarter. 11-11-11. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The Saints coming out now to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down, Wilkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. They'll look to throw now on first down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. He came through with the nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. Back to throw here. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Up the middle they go. Wilkinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down now, Wilkinson. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. He'll drop to throw. 
He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 44-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The last run got six, now second and four. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Ten yards, good for the Saints first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Wilkinson, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. On first down, Wilkinson. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Wilkinson had a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Up the middle they go. Wilkinson, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Saints add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator, and they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter, and I don't... on the tee and the Saints kick team booms it away and from back there a wise move he'll just sit on this one and it'll come out to the 25 now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, here. things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so well, far well, this well. season, but well, in this well. one, well, well, their well, defense well. has really struggled. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Here's Burrow. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? <laughs> You're the boss. We get the interception, then really, he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he coughs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it 
possible when San Francisco had Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is salted away. MC, 11, MC. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back. Drives down, kicks the game winning field goal. <laughs> How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. Here we go. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. 11, 11, 11, 11, mighty, now Burrow. 11, mighty. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. 11, MP, hey. and Bengals 11, on third MP, down. Hey. They've converted a third of their opportunities. 11, Three for 11, nine. 11, 12, this is third and 12, 10. 12. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Burrow going to throw again. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Burrow throw to the right side and complete to Hurst. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Burrow getting this into the hands of Higgins. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 42. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Delay of game, offense. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He go. just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Being chased, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The sack recorded, it's a loss of five, and now it's second down. I'm one, right? Wait, cut! 12, 12, 12. 11, Thomas! From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're 11, down 11, where they are, 11, they've got to pay 11, it off with some points. 11, mighty! 11, From midfield now, Burrow. Past the 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 50 yards. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. How does the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here? This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives, and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after it right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say, <laughs> run the football, you've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And they get 14 yards there at a first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 72 yards rushing for him now to this point. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, 
They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the carry might have gotten this one down to the 28 and that's all try and run for it and he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19 yard line it's a gain of six and that ought to just about do it the fourth down run successful now they look to pay it off on first down is heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game and partner i have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars what's the top gear you can get into this offense they certainly were there in this one huh everything clicking for them in this contest the kind of performance that they're going to cherish so for our visitors, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. And, oh, and they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 now on the year. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.